What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'll be showing you guys how you can get your exotic swords. Now first of all you need to have already completed the quest to get one of the legendary swords. I've already covered that in a video which I will link in that video description if you guys haven't got a sword yet. You first need to get that legendary sword before you can get your exotic. Once you have done that quest for that legendary sword the next step is to get 50 major kills and 25 crucible kills with the sword. The major kills I did on earth underground but there are many places this can be done. The crucible kills this can be done without having heavy ammo. You can just run around with the hilt of the sword and get kills. Although not too easy, it's easily the most fun I've had in PvP in like forever it really is. Once this step is complete, head back to Lord Shaxx in the tower and the next step is called Blade of Night where you have to draw out and defeat Ekfar, Sword of Oryx in the Asylum on the Dreadnought. Here you must use your sword to take off his shield but then can shoot him. Once completed this step, head back to Lord Shaxx and the next step is to gather materials. Depending on the sword you chose will determine which planet you have to go to to get your materials. Me choosing the Soul Edge, the Solar Sword, I had to go to the moon. As far as I know, you have to pick up the materials, mine being healing filaments. Chests will not drop the certain materials you will need for this quest. So on Earth, look for spin metal, on the moon, look for filaments, and on Mars, look for relic iron. This step does take a while, but just be patient. The other step to this part of the quest is to get ability kills. Depending on the weapon you chose, I am my hunter with my Soul Edge. I had to get solar ability kills. This step takes ages, but just be patient like I said and you will get there in the end. I did this on the Dark Beyond mission on that legendary spot with Walking the Hive. Took me way over an hour though, easily. Once done this part of the quest, head back to Lord Shax and he will give you another step where you have to wait until Arms Day drops, which comes around every Wednesday on reset time. Once Arms Day has come around, you should automatically get the notification that this part of the quest has been completed. Then head back to Shax in the tower and then he will have the final step of the quest for you where you have to defeat Adleg, Warden of Oryx and then Alakul aka Darkblade within 30 seconds. A special version of the Sunless South Strike will appear on the Dreadnought with a recommended light of 300. But to be honest it is not that hard. What you want to do in the final encounter with Darkblade is take Darkblade's health down to where it's basically a couple of hits from death. Then kill Adleg, Warden of Oryx who dies pretty easy. Then kill Darkblade. Your quest should then be completed. But guys you will notice when you're in this final encounter three versions of the Wardens of Oryx will spawn with Darkblade all having different shield types depending on the sword you have will determine which one you need to keep alive until dark blade's health is really low one's got a void shield one's got a solar shield and one's got the arc shield obviously if you've got the arc blade you want to keep the dude with the arc shield alive kill the other two off take dark blade's health right down to a minuscule then kill the arc warden of oryx and then quickly kill Dark Blade, it's as simple as that. Once completed, head back to Lord Shax and collect your exotic sword. And it's as simple as that. Do drop a like or do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!